Okay, this is part one of my uh, drawing, force gram, drawing force diagrams videos. Uh, the part one is objects with balanced forces, and obviously part two will be objects with unbalanced forces. And here's a typical uh, force diagram. Some people call them free, free body diagrams. And the box, again, represents an object. These arrows represent the forces. And this line down here is just the fact that the object is actually sitting on a surface. So... Uh, again, the balance, forces are balanced because the up arrow and the down arrow are equal, and the left arrow and the right arrow are equal, and therefore they cancel each other out, even though that you know this one and this one are not the same. The length of the arrow is the magnitude of the force, and the direction of the arrow is the direction of the forces being applied. So I'm going to run through the typical cases. Uh, they're pretty straightforward, and um, hopefully by the time the end of watch the video, you'll have it all kind of figured out. Okay. So here's the first one. This is an object. It could be any object, really. Um, sometimes we say it's a book. Sometimes we say it's a person. It could be a car. It could be anything. But the point is that the object is standing still, which means it's not accelerating, which means it has balanced forces, which means that um, we want it to have a surface that it's standing on. So we're going to draw the surface, and the surface is going to look... Uh, just like uh, this. Okay, any flat surface. That's our flat surface that the object is standing on. Okay, now we're going to draw the object. And again, the object is just uh, a box. And I'm going to draw the box like that. And um, now we're going to have forces. And the forces have to be balanced because it says the object is, stand, is standing motionless. So uh, most likely, the way it's going to look is something like this. So we're going to put this like this, and then we're going to have a line, and maybe we can get a little color for the line, see if we can get this to work. And since the object is an object, it's going to have gravity. So gravity is going to be pointing down in this direction. And I want to get that to have a, a little arrow at the end of it. So we're just going to delete it. And i got to make sure I get an arrow at the end. And i got my line. And see what happens now. Okay, so that's gravity. That force pointing down is gravity, and we have to have a force that keeps the object from falling basically through the surface. And if you remember correctly, that force is going to be our normal force. We want to make these so that they look like they're the same length, since uh, we have the object standing motionless like that. Okay, so that's one way it could look, uh, standing motionless. Now, we could have... Two other arrows besides, two other forces besides gravity and the normal force. And one could be going this way. And because it's standing motionless, we would have to have one pointing in the other direction also. And this could be somebody pushing and somebody pulling the same object, but the object is still not moving. Think of a person who's standing gravity and normal force, and then like one of the children is, one of his children is pulling this way, and one of his children is pulling this way and you still stand motionless, okay? So that's that's kind of the two options. You can have just the gravity normal, or you can have the push and the pull in addition, in addition to that. Okay, next. This one says, an object is being pushed or pulled across the surface at a constant velocity. Okay, so here's our surface again. So that's our surface. And we're going to have an object, and the object is going to look like this. And here's the object, like that. And here, so it could be any object. It could be a book. It could be a sled. It could be a car. Any object that you want to push or pull across the surface. And now let's show the forces that are acting on that object. And we'll see if we can get some color again. Okay, so it's an object. It has to have gravity. Gravity is going to be pointing down, like that. And since it's being pushed across the surface, that means it's not falling down through the surface. We have to have another force going up. And that force is going to be our uh, 
normal force. And this is the gravitational force, and this is the normal force, and they should be equal, so let's try and just make them equal. Okay, I think that makes them look pretty equal. Okay, now, a push across the surface at a constant velocity. The object is moving, but the forces are balanced because it's at a constant velocity. So this could be our push force, and then our force in the opposite direction, which is keeping it at a constant velocity and not allowing us to accelerate, is going to have to be friction. Okay? So that's the way it would look, just like that. And I think this one maybe is a little, long, a little shorter, like that. Oops. Let's see if we can extend this. Like that. Okay? So even though it has four forces, gravity force, normal force, some kind of push, which we would call an applied force, and this is friction op uh, going in the opposite direction. So this object would be moving in the way we made this our applied and this our friction from left to right across the table. Whoops, excuse me. Okay? Constant velocity, constant forces. Okay. Last one. Now here's an object. This is an object that's falling out of the sky or just falling apple, person, squirrel, whatever we want it to be, whatever we said it is in class before. So here's the object. Once again, we just make a box. Okay, we want to make it a little longer this time. We can make it a little longer like that. Okay, now we said it's going to have the forces. And what are the forces? Now, we didn't say we're neglecting air resistance or anything like that. So we're just going to have the forces that are going to be acting on the object. And since it's an object, we always start off with gravity, and we know we're going to have a gravitational force. And there's our gravitational force. Now, if it's falling, it has a constant velocity, something has to be keeping it constant, and most likely that's going to be a force that's pushing up, like that, and that's going to be air resistance. Okay? So here we go. Gravity force, air resistance, balance forces, constant velocity. All right? So I think that's it. I think that should cover it. And that takes me back to the title, whoops, not back to the title, which is um, Balanced Forces. That's how you draw them. Thank you.